What if I told you that one of the most elusive particles in the universe just revealed its secrets? In 2025, scientists working at CERN, the world's largest particle physics laboratory, confirmed something that has puzzled physicists for decades, the existence of toponium. This isn't just another subatomic particle. This is a forbidden dance between the two heaviest particles in the universe, top quark and anti-top quark, forming a union that for years was thought to be impossible. But first, let's rewind a bit. What's a quark? Quarks are among the smallest building blocks of matter. They combine to form protons and neutrons, the particles at the heart of every atom. Quarks come in six flavors, up, down, charm, strange, bottom, and top. Most of the matter you see in the universe is made of up and down quarks, but the others, charm, strange, bottom, and top, only show up in extreme conditions, like those created in high-energy particle accelerators. The top quark is the heavyweight of the family. It's the most massive of all known elementary particles, about 185 times heavier than a proton. But here's the twist. It's also the most short-lived. It decays almost instantly after being created, within less than a yoctosecond. That's one septillionth of a second. In physics, that's blink and it's gone. Because of this, scientists believed it was impossible for a top quark to interact with other particles in time to form a bond, like a quark-anti-quark -quark pair. In particular, the idea that a top quark could bind to its own antiparticle to form a toponium state, that was pure speculation. Or so we thought. Let's go back to the early 2000s. Scientists at CERN were already smashing protons together at nearly the speed of light inside the Large Hadron Collider, creating conditions similar to those right after the Big Bang. In the collisions, they searched for patterns, for any anomalies that deviated from the predictions of the standard model of particle physics, our best theory for how the universe works at the smallest scales. In particular, they were interested in events where top and anti-top quarks were produced. While these events are rare and extremely energetic, the CMS detector started picking up something strange between 2016 and 2018. There was an unexpected excess of top anti-top pairs near a very specific energy threshold, the kind of excess that made theorists raise their eyebrows. For a while, it was unclear if it was a statistical fluke. After all, in science, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. But the anomaly persisted. And then came July 2025. The ATLAS experiment, operating independently from CMS, confirmed the same result. A statistically significant bump in the data above the magical Five Sigma threshold meaning there's less than one in three and a half million chance it was due to random noise. Toponium was real. If you're enjoying this, give us a like. It really helps the YouTube algorithm show this video to more curious minds like yours. But what exactly is toponium? In basic terms, it's a quarkonium, a bound state between a quark and its antiquark. You might have heard of other quarkoniums, Charmonium, formed by charm and anti-charm quarks. Bottomonium, formed by bottom and anti-bottom quarks. These were discovered in the 1970s and played a critical role in validating the standard model of particle physics. But toponium is a whole different beast. The top quark decays so quickly that its partner doesn't even get a chance to say hello. So how can they bond? The answer lies in quantum mechanics. Even though the top quarks decay rapidly, there's a tiny moment, a flicker of time, where they influence each other before vanishing. That interaction is enough to create a detectable resonance in the data. Think of it like a cosmic flashbulb. You don't see the flash itself, 
but you catch its reflection in a mirror. That reflection is what CMS and Atlas saw. But why is this important? For one, it allows us to test the strong nuclear force, the fundamental force that holds quarks together in a regime we've never been able to access before. Studying toponium helps physicists probe quantum chromodynamics, the theory that describes the strong force with unprecedented precision. It also sharpens our measurement of the top corpse mass, which plays a major role in predicting whether our universe is stable in the long term. Wait, what? Yes, physicists believe that the balance between the top quark's mass and the Higgs boson's mass could determine whether the universe will remain stable forever or eventually collapse in a cosmic catastrophe billions of years from now. So this isn't just particle physics, it's existential physics. And we're just scratching the surface. The discovery of toponium is already inspiring proposals for future electron-positron colliders like the FCCEE and CEPC, which would allow us to create and study these exotic states in a much cleaner environment. These machines could unlock the next chapter in our understanding of the universe. But here's what's truly amazing. This discovery wasn't made by a single person. It took thousands of scientists, engineers, and technicians working together across dozens of countries. It took decades of planning, building, calibrating, and coding. All so that for a brief moment in 2025, we could say we saw it. A pair of top corks reaching out across time and space to form a particle that shouldn't even exist. So here's a question for you. What else is out there that science says shouldn't exist, but does? Could this be the start of a whole new physics, or just a rare glimpse into a hidden pattern of the universe? Let us know what you think in the comments. And if this kind of storytelling lights a spark in your curiosity, join the Planet Cookie Crew. We explore the strangest, boldest, and most mind-blowing stories from the universe with clarity and wonder. Hit that subscribe button, Give us a like and share this video with someone who needs to hear about the impossible made real. Until next time, stay curious.